Good evening, YouTube. Hope you had a wonderful Friday afternoon. Uh, this is Hardball Crazy for another uh, video for y'all. I was hoping to do a, do a uh, mail day today, but the U.S. Postal Service decided they didn't want to <clears throat> get my card to me in the proper channel. So it is what it is. So I wait another time for to do this mail day. So uh, it allows me today to do, I uh, guess, a little bit of a showcase. I'm going to talk to you about my... Uh, Collect, little collection of uh, 1990 and older error and variation cards. I'm not going to talk about the newer stuff because you got so many uh, photo variations of so many sets these days and errors, heritage error cards that kind of pay homage to the old uh, error cards from the 60s and 70s and such. So this is uh, all the error cards for, I have that are 1990 and older um, var variations, and I'll tell you a little bit of backstory about them a little bit and what I know. Of course, the uh, the mother of all error cards, the one that's kind of uh, started a whole boom of error cards is the old Billy Ripken card. You know about this one with the profane bat knob thing. Um, if you really want to know the backstory of this, I saw Dan Patrick interview with Bill Ripken and talks about the story about how this all happened. With this card with me, I remember it came out, I was in high school, I was uh, been collecting for a long time and this card made national news it was like all over the news newspapers and news and stuff so classmate and I friend of my fellow collector decided after school go walk down to the lo local drugstore buy a complete box A9 Fleer it cost like 16 bucks at the time and hope to get the Billy Ripken error card uh, Rick Face I guess is the PG version of it and um, so we, both of us went down there and busted a box and uh, went to his place, busted open, and we both pulled out the Billy Ripken error card. This is, of course, this is the only one version I have of it. Um, the thing about this is when I busted the box, I kind of noticed the whole complete box of packs, I did not get one duplicate. So with no attention, so I said, hey, I'll just go for the complete set. So I do have the complete set of 89 Fleer. This Fleer set has many other errors in it. Randy Johnson, most notable, is a Jeff Treadway error card. But this is the only error card I actually do have out of all those sets. Um, it's not an error. This card is not an error card, but it's sort of in the same vein of, um, I want to say, profane. I don't know if it's maybe the right word. Or um, non-PC, I guess. Um 1972 Tops Billy Martin has a little history behind it. If you look close to us, you know, if you know Billy Martin, you're old enough to know more Billy Martin. He was rather a combative personality, I guess you could put it that uh, way. And sometimes he was a nice guy, sometimes, you know, drinks a lot, sometimes he just rubs all the people the wrong way. And love him or hate him, it's Billy Martin's Billy Martin. And I think this day he didn't like the photographer too much. So. If you look close enough to his finger and the, the bat, how he posed to him, he was showing his appreciation to the uh, to the uh, photographer. This is a card I was printed back in '72. It was never uh, changed. I don't know if I guess Tops never realized it. I don't know who was the person that um, you know discovered this or not. Probably some kid back in the day, but you know, it's a Billy Martin. It's kind of a. Uh, Interesting card history. I don't know how many people know about. My next variation is the ones I showed you a little bit previously by Lee Smith's 882 Fleers. There's a corrected version with the logos. I believe the corrected version is the more uh, more sought after one. I don't know the exact. Uh, um, value of all of them but I believe the corrected version is more of the valuable one of the two but future now Hall of Famer of course the Billy Ripken started a whole craze of uh, error cards not just in baseball but in football and hockey and basketball had a crazy amount of error cards 89 90 91 any set you had there was error cards in it and one of them was the Juan Gonzalez 1999-1990 Donruss Rookie Reverse Negative. This is the corrected version. Another one was the 1990 Ben McDonald Rookie Card. Instead of uh, 
The upper deck logo has the Baltimore Orioles logo. This is the more rare version of it. Um, I always thought thought Ben McDonald's could be something, but never turned out to be it. Still a fan, I guess. Another error of the 80s is the um, 85 Donruss, Tom Seaver. This is the corrected version, the harder get run. Uh, I don't know how Donruss, in 1985, originally had a left-handed pitcher named Floyd Bannister as the Tom Seaver card. By the time 85 rolled around, Tom Seaver pretty much had his ticket in Cooperstown already made, sealed, and delivered. So uh, somewhere in Donruss, the photographer, the the person who uh, edits the cars looks over or something thought the left-handed reliever Floyd Bannister was Tom Seaver. Eh, not quite. This is the corrected version. A couple of cards from the 70s. 1979 Topps Bump Wills, the error card. Said he was a picture of the Rangers, that's who he was played for, but there's Tells you he was a Blue Jay. Story is that uh, head of Tops of Time, Cy Berger, got inside information and thought it was a done deal that Bump Wills was going to get traded to the Blue Jays. Sure is 100% uh, guaranteed. He thought, yep, this is going to happen. Cy, you could just take it to the bank. So that's what he did. So Tops produced Bump Wills Blue Jay cards. Tried to be ahead of the game and be up to date as much as they could. But... Guess what? Trade never happened. So, um, middle production, they switched over to Bump Will's Ranger cards. And uh, pretty much on nowadays, I think the value of either both of them are the same. Bump Will's, if you don't know, he's the son of Dodger great Maury Will's. And Bump Will's never did play for the Blue Jays. He did play for the Cubs after the Rangers and I think it was out of baseball by 83 or so. My last card I'm going to show you tonight is the 1974 Tops. Same uh, idea is the Washington National variation of the San Diego Padres. Um, the Padres at the time uh, were thought to go leave of San Diego to the to uh, Washington to Washington. Washington just lost the uh, their Senators to the Texas Rangers just a year or so prior, and uh, the. Padres were had new owners were up for sale. The new owner thought um, there was going to buy them and move them to Washington. Team yet to be named, hence the name Washington National League. But uh, the uh, everybody thought this was going to happen. They were starting to uh, coming out with jerseys and ideas and all that type of stuff. And but uh, last second, co-founder of the McDonald's Ray Kroc came in and says the Padres still for sale, and he said, "Yep." So uh, he bought them, kept them in San Diego, and uh, the rest is history. Pottery is still obviously still in San Diego. And uh, during so the tops, um, this is the first year of non uh, series, this is the first year all released in one series. And they decided uh, they switched over to San Diego Padres mid, um, mid production again. Um, just about every Padre in the sets, a lot of them have a Washington National variation, except for one big notable exception, the Dave Winfield rookie is only in San Diego Padres. Not sure why. Uh, but like Hall of Famer William McCovey is, uh, he is, a, is a Washington National variation of him. This is Randy Jones, uh, his rookie card, former Cy Young Award winner for the uh, Padres. Noted junk ball pitcher, later played for the New York Mets. And uh, this, that's, there you go. That's my errors and variations of uh, 1990 and older. This is a few of them. I don't have all of them. Uh, there's more of them, obviously. If you look at the latest Beckett Monthly, they have the 80 cards, top 80 cards, the 80s. There's some in there, notable ones, like the Dale Murphy error card from 89 Upper Deck, Reverse Negative. And there's the Dave Littlefield 82 Fleer card. And there's a Greg Nettles 81 Fleer card that's misspelled. But these are the ones I have. These are the ones I, I'm glad to own. And um, if I get other ones, I'll get other ones. But these are the ones I was looking out to keep. And thank you for watching. 
Mm, have a good evening.